welcome back to the channel lifestyle designs with teresa on this channel i share lifestyle content home decorating home styling some diys and also some vlogs every now and then if you are new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit that button again so that you will be notified when i upload new content now let me just say this to you all that are viewing today and are new to this channel Go ahead and hit that button. When you hit that button, when you share those beautiful comments and also you subscribe to the channel, that definitely helps my channel to grow. And you don't know how much I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Now to my existing subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to rock with me and sharing all those beautiful and lovely comments. I read them all and I love them. Thank you so much. You all have been such a blessing to me. Now guys, you already know what today's video is gonna be about. So we're gonna go ahead and let's get it started. <music> Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with Ross. I purchased this item from Ross maybe about three weeks ago and I really wanted this vase because I feel like I can style this for the summer along with my blue and white. Also, I can use this for patriotic day. I mean, I can get plenty of summer stylings out of this. Last year, I styled for Thanksgiving with blue and also urns. So I did use some blue last year. So this can get many stylings. Now, many of you may not seen um, partial of my Thanksgiving from last year because that's when I actually really started into YouTube. But I bought this vase from Ross. This was a beauty. I paid $12.99 for this vase. It is lovely. I love the detail on it because it has these two handles on the side. So this is absolutely beautiful. I love this face. And I will be styling with this for the summer. So look, I went in um, my crafting area and I got a few pieces of floor out of there because I just wanted to go ahead and give some ideas what we can do um, to style this vase. Just some different ways for the summer and it's just absolutely simple it doesn't have to be anything very detailed it can just be the simplicity that brings out the beauty so let me get a couple of floors here okay i have these sunflowers that have been sitting um in my crafting area for a minute. I haven't used, I used a few of them, but I haven't used many. So, and these came from Walmart. And let's see, I thought I had a price on one of them. I wanna say I paid like $3.97 a bundle from Walmart. And this was a couple of years ago. And I did see them last year and they are more than $3.97 for this bundle now. Everything has gone up. I got these little florals picks. I can't remember what you call these, but they are so cute. I used these um, on a bumblebee wreath that I did last year. And these are absolutely beautiful. They're like some like sticky picks, but they are so cute. So I was thinking uh, what you can do. Normally I try to cut some of my leaves off and pull them down, but I won't do it today. I'll just go ahead and let's just do some styling for this um, base here.
this could actually be a beautiful summer styling guys and quick Here I have some pretty greenish color. We probably can put in the styling. Let's see. I still have the tickets on here, but that's okay. We're just gonna get some ideas of what we can do with this. So we can just pull this down some. Get a few ideas here. Also, I have these spikers leaves. You know, and if you're someone that really likes to dig deep into it, you can add these spikers leaves to it. I have about three of them over there. Grab another ficus sleeve here. Straighten it out. Okay, so if you want, you can actually add the ficus leaves to this. Give it a nice styling. Add your sunflowers to it. I mean, of course, you're gonna make this really a beautiful styling with this. And you don't have to use spiker sleeves. These are just some leaves that I had already uh, in the room. So you can use the spiker sleeves with it. This one dropped off. And you know, just make it something beautiful. I mean, I like to bend my stuff over sometimes and make it kind of with a whimsical look. That's just me lately. That's what I've been doing lately. Trying to give it that whimsical like look. So. so this is just an idea of a styling that you can do, you know, for the summer. And this is gonna be one styling. And you don't have to add these leaves to it. This is just with something extra. So let's just take these leaves out, the ficus leaves out. Okay, now without the ficus leaves, you can just let it stand alone. And I put these beautiful lime green florals in here. I think they are actually daisies to sort of bring out some color in the sunflowers. So as you can see, I mean, you can style this beautiful with some sunflowers. You can push it down, have it further down, or you can just bring them up and bend them over, let them have more of a bushy look. I mean, but, I mean, it's just so much that you can do with this face. So, there we go with our sunflowers and our daisies for this base. I think it is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So that is one styling for this face. Now, let's see. I also have a lot of magnolias, and I wanted to pull out one set. Um, let's see if this will work, because you don't have to have it actually all the way full. And this is a different set. I got these right here from Craft Outlet. These florals here came from Craft Outlet. So these magnolias came from Craft Outlet. Okay, and these little magnolia florals, believe it or not, Dollar Tree had some magnolia florals in there one day. So I just picked up on this one, this set. I think I picked up on one or two. 
but once again you can add magnolias to this let's see we'll add the magnolias and I guess what if I put some yellow in it just to give it some color in these magnolias let's see how it's gonna look I mean, it's up to you how you want to style it. You don't have to put all this different stuff in there, but this will definitely bring out, get it some color in it. And the only thing you're gonna do is just take your time because that's what I do. I take my time and I do my floors. And a lot of times when I bring it on camera, I've already taken my time to do whatever I need to do to them. So this is another styling that you can do. You can use the magnolia florals and you can put some yellow in there to give it some color. So I think this is absolutely cute as well. So you're just gonna take your time in doing it. And if you wanna add those greenery leaves, you can add them to the back. You wanna push them down because ficus leaves are used, I use ficus leaves a lot and a lot of different stuff, especially uh, sometimes when I'm doing my wreaths, I like to use ficus leaves. So you can add the ficus leaves to the back and you see that just get a beautiful, gives a beautiful greenery background to it. And this will go beautiful on the table. So I just thought I would just give some examples of some styling that can be used with these, um, this jar, this beautiful blue jar. So look for this because I will be using this for the summer guys. And I'm sorry, I'm just raking out some of the um, flora that's dropping off some of this stuff that's dropping off. So we're gonna put that to the side. So this was my first item, which came from Ross. All right, guys. And I'm doing this standing up today and you'll see me going back and forth over there to that side of the table. So I wanna do things standing up today. So I bought this beautiful, mm -hmm. if you haven't noticed, I love ginger jars. I bought this beautiful black ginger jar from Ross. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I love this. And I love black. So I do love the style of black, although I don't use it very often, but I love black. I paid $19.99 for this beautiful ginger jar. And I love it. Now I wish I could have found a larger one in this, but um, I do have another ginger jar and you're gonna see me styling with that very soon. Next week sometime probably, the larger one. But uh, I'm going into summer, so I'm not sure if I'll be including gold. So this one I may not be using, but I'll be using a larger ginger jar that I have. So this one was $19.99 and this comes from Rose. And this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have TJ Maxx. So, I was in TJ Maxx about three weeks ago. I really was in there before three weeks ago. And I seen this vase with the bumblebees on there and the sunflowers, okay? You see where I'm going? Because I have sunflowers that I put in that vase. And you see where I'm going? So, I paid $13 for the vase. It was on clearance. But when I first went in there about, I want to say about six weeks ago, I want to think this vase was about $21.99 maybe. Something to that cost. But I was like, mm, I'm going to wait around and see if it goes down. So when I went in there about three weeks ago, it had gone down. So I was like, oops, here's the time to get it. So this vase was $13. And you can actually style this as well with the sunflowers. And I probably 
probably would put just maybe one in here since um, this jar is not so big. Well, maybe we can do two. Let's see. I think one of my sunflowers fell off when I used it. So this would be cute as well, you see, with the sunflowers. This can be a beautiful centerpiece on your table. And of course you can bend these, the stems over some so that they won't hang out so much so that it can be shorter. But see where I'm going with this? This is absolutely beautiful. So I really wanted this vase and I picked this one up because it has the bumblebee. But you can actually use those sunflowers in here as well. And if you want, you can throw that greenery in here as well like I did before. We threw the greenery in here to give it some colors because sometimes you need that pop of color and stuff, you know, to give it a little color. So we can add that little color to it to give it a pop of color. But you can style this on your table, table setting, and this will be absolutely beautiful with the sunflower dishes because I do have some sunflower dishes. I bought the bumblebee dishes from um, Home Goods. Yeah, but we did the haul on that and I showed you all the haul, but what I'll do is I'll attach those hauls to this video so in the event you want to go back and see what else that I have to go along with this stuff here, the sunflowers and bumblebee. Okay, so this I got from TJ Maxx and it was $13. Love it. All right, guys, if you did not go, if you did not go along with me on my previous Ross videos, then not Ross, Roses video. I have a Roses shop with me video, guys. And I stopped by Roses that day because people say don't sleep on Roses. Every now and then, just stop into Roses to see what they have. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stop into Roses. And when I went in there, they had a lot of nice items. Y'all, I'm just breaking off all this stuff that come off of this floor, off the tape, and I'll just vacuum afterwards. But I picked these up at Ross. These are ginger jars, guys. And they were $2.99. $2.99 for these beautiful ginger jars. Pick these up from Ross. I actually purchased four of them. Look here. I purchased four of them because you can also put the florals in here as well. You can add florals to this as well. So this is absolutely beautiful. I know that these are going to go on my book stand, but I purchased four, I added two to my bedroom. And this particular two are going to go to on my book stand. But like I said, you can add floors to these. I mean, there's so much you can do to these um, right here. So you can add florals and make it really pretty as well. So like I said, I bought four of these two I've already put in my bedroom, but I bought four in total. Okay. Okay guys, next I did another purchase at Ross. I purchased these beautiful silver vases. They were $5.99 each. I purchased these to um, go on my bookshelf and I will be adding these to my bookshelf. I love the way it is on the edge. It has like this pattern, rugged edges on the side. So I thought these were absolutely cute and also I can add floral to them. So I didn't just buy one of them. I purchased two of them. So I purchased two of these 
to go on my bookshelf. And I got these from Ross. And again, they were $5.99. So this was absolutely a very good purchase. Okay, next is going to be thrift store. I purchased this beauty from the thrift store. It was $2.99, yeah, I cleaned it off, but it was $2.99, and I thought this was absolutely beautiful. What I can do with this, I can add a, like a little hurricane base to it, and um, this would be absolutely beautiful on an entryway table. You can also use it on your coffee table. I thought about also, you can use the hurricane attachment on it, but you can also um, get one of those styrofoams. If you wanted to glue it to this, you can, or you don't have to glue it to this. You can stick the styrofoam stick the styrofoam to this with maybe some type of attachment that comes off. And then you can just add floors of choice around the styrofoam with it sort of hanging, you know, draping a little. I thought this would actually be very beautiful. And I purchased this from the thrift store, $2.99. This was absolutely a beautiful find. I love this. I love the print. And this, this is absolutely a beautiful print in this item. And this was $2.99. Now guys, also, also from the thrift store, I purchased these three candle holders. Now guys, I apologize because I forgot I was gonna be bringing these onto my haul. These were a greenish color, like her. It, it was dull. So uh, my goal when I got them, I thought about, okay, I'm gonna purchase these because I want to um, spray paint them black. And I already knew that I had some chalk spray paint in the home that I have not used. And I'm actually using something that I already have. So I purchased these three. They were 99 cents each. I purchased the tall one. The one next to the tall one. And also the small one. So they were all three 99 cents each. So I thought these were absolutely a good find from the thrift store. I spray painted them, like I said, because they were actually like a green dullish color. I guess maybe whoever had them probably had them for a while, but I spray painted them black. So I will be using these with my um, style. Now last but not least guys, from the thrift store, I got these beautiful wine glasses. Now, I, they were $1.99 for the pack of four. And of course it's the Goodwill. They were $1.99 for the pack of four. Now they're not glass, but what turned me on to them is this color. It's almost like a baby blue, but a Tiffany blue color. And I thought these were absolutely beautiful. Now, like I said, they are not glass. They are plasticware. But when I see them, I fell in love with them and I thought they would be cute for styling. You know, I'm saying that some of these still have the um, little tags on them. Also, looks like most of them that I've looked at. So guys, I'm wondering if they have actually ever um, been used. But like I said, these are very cute. I am gonna be using these for styling. They um, kind of come across as maybe a light blue or almost a Tiffany blue um, color. I did see some plates in a thrift store close to this color. 
pretty much almost the same but i really think they had them priced really too high but anyhow i will be looking or be on the lookout for some place settings that will match these wine glasses because i thought these were absolutely beautiful i really like these and guys this is the last item i have for today now if you have not push that thumbs up button. Go ahead and push that thumbs up button for me and also subscribe to the channel because I would love for you to be part of the lifestyle family. And as I always say, guys, many blessings to you and also your family. Love you guys. Stay safe.